evening, we are Watermug. Do you want a drink? Oh yeah, cheers, I'll still mine. Watermug. That? Tea, a little bit of milk and two sugars. There you go, cheers. Some tea bags. Tell me to tea bag. My name's Sophie and I'm the Managing Director. This is Sam, our Co-Managing Director, Tom, Sales Director, Beth, General Director, and Scott, Marketing Director. Our business produces quality mugs with a unique design that enables users to enjoy a hot beverage specifically tailored to their needs and desires. These, uh, from our market research, we discovered that 70% of people are fussy with their amounts of milk. This influenced the design of the mug. The user simply writes their name on the mug with the included pen before going on to design their preferred hot drink. So now Tom can make a decent brew. Now we all know making the perfect brew can be hard, but these mugs make everything easier. After a successful business pitch at Wilmso Business Group, we pitched our ideas to over 70 businesses. This generated a total of 194 orders to businesses such as RBS, Barclays and AstraZeneca. But no, it wasn't always this easy. In the beginning we struggled to get a handle on the mug market, but we eventually found our best channel of distribution was business to business. As our initial budget was limited, we had to resort to means of social media in order to advertise our product. We set up accounts on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. As well as this, we have now developed a website. As you can see, Chelsea from Key 103, Olympic gold medalist Laura Trott and Leanne from Coronation Street have taken to Twitter to express their admiration for the mug, as well as retweets from Apprentice contestant James Hill. One problem that was brought to our attention is that after constant use of the mug, staining was left that could not be removed. This forced us to switch uh, supplier to mug, wa mug Warehouse, which solved the issue of staining and has reduced costs. Here's a diagram to show our increase in profitability after a change in supplier due to high unit costs which resulted in low gross profit margins. Looking into the future, we have plans to work with The Drawing Room, a digital marketing agency from Manchester, who got in contact with us in the beginning of June, saying that they loved the product and would love to do some work with us. We are currently aiming at increasing our product portfolio. We'd like to introduce a detox bottle and a, um, a cocktail shape with alcoholic measurements. These will be labelled the Not A Mug range. The, we, we also plan to develop environmentally and ethically. One of these options is to create a sleeve to be placed around takeout cups with our original design on. These will be environmentally friendly and biodegradable. We also have plans to provide a contribution to the fair trade charity upon closure of the company. We raised initial capital through shares and managed to achieve a total of £351. Costs of our first order were extremely high, resulting in a profit of just £50. Costs of our second order were £127 cheaper, as well as getting an additional 39 units. Overall, we have a total revenue of £1,559 and a profit of £762.60. We have taken a proactive approach in building our profile locally, and as a result of recent success in the local competitions, we've generated a number of press releases within the local media. Decide how you like it with what a mug. <laughs>